Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We got some of that white stuff and we got a lot of stuff outside. And I'm guessing the mine has already shut itself down. It looks like, yep, that is not good. We need to heat the house a bit, throw a couple logs in the stove, and I'm gonna turn on the TV quick. Low end estimates could be 70 inches. And oh, just no. look at this. No way cars over much, here, though. completely buried. We passed serious? cars left and right that were completely stuck. Okay, news reporter said we got a ton of snow. It looked like there's some big drifts out there, which is not good. Oh, there's Nate. He can't even make it up the driveway, it looks like. Oh, gosh. Grant, Grant. Yeah. We have an issue right now. So Happy decided he wanted to go to the store, go get something real fast. He apparently got stuck over last night. I don't know. He was sounding like he was freezing almost. He's stuck? I think it's Trump. Yes. Okay, we got to get him. Dude, there's a National Weather Service says not to go outside, not to travel far. Well, I mean, Happy. we could leave him out there. Well, we're going to go get Happy, but Happy doesn't listen. Happy never listens. He's stubborn as a mule, like you. Also, guys, if you're interested in mobile games, specifically farming games, check out American Farming down below. This is a game my company created. Got a bunch of different for brands in there and it's based out of american agriculture check it out down below nate how's the mine doing what's the mine looking like we're done for the winter everything's frozen solid our water is frozen solid our dirt's frozen solid i don't even think explosives would help us at this point son of a gun that's not good we got some cash but man we got to keep this thing running oh yeah do you have your winch on your truck i do i do give me a ride down to my truck we'll go from there okay let's roll if we can make it out of here. So we got about four foot of snow. We are just hammered down with the side by side trying to get to my truck. I don't know if we're going to make it to happy, but we're going to try. Oh, we're hey, drifting. Hey, we're hey. drifting. We're drifting. Okay, just get to the shed door. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good enough. Good enough. Here's the thing, guys. We don't have any like plowing equipment. So we got to buy some snow plowing equipment to kind of clear the lot and stuff like that. The stuff that's sitting outside, I think it's going to have a hard time starting. The only thing we can get started is the stuff that's in the heat shop right now. But first things first, let's go try and rescue Happy. I think he ran out of fuel. Okay, here we go. We got the truck started. Nate, you think we're going to be able to make it there? I hope we will. With it this tall, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But I know we need to go save Happy because he's out of diesel. What? And what, what happens if we get stuck? We call Buck. Our life is in Buck's hands right now. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. Let's not get stuck. Come on. Fish hook. You can't do fish hooks in farm sim. They don't work. Here we go, Nate. Here well, we go, I Nate. Oh. Here we go, Nate. Oh my gosh, dude. Dude, I can't keep... Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I think I see him. I think I see a truck up there. That's not Buck, is it? There's no, no way that's, that's Buck's truck. That is Buck's truck. Unless I'm blind. Oh my gosh. Yep, it's Buck. Of course he shows up once we can't work anymore. How did Buck beat us here? He wasn't even supposed to come here. About time you folks showed up. Buck. What? How long have you been here? Like 15 minutes. How'd you even know Happy was here? Because he called me. I swear I walked right up to the door and his nuts were stuck to the seat and his jugs were stuck in the steering what? wheel. The groceries in the back flew forward like the cheese ball jug stuck in the steering wheel and his bag of peanuts or I don't know, they had a oh. freezing point. They're stuck to the seat. Oh, I thought you were talking about something else. Can we not get the guy out of here, please? Like, yeah, is that, yeah, is that too much to ask for? I am freezing over here. Happy, how long have you been here? What, 16, well, 17 hours now? Oh my gosh, how, okay. Why did it take long to get Oh, there's the milk didn't spoil. This is not a joke in manner. Okay, let's get him pulled out here. Hey, you see him laughing in there. That's getting his blood flowing. Okay, only the real truck can get her pulled out. Back her up, boys. We got it attached. A minute. Yeah, a minute? He's been in there for hours. Okay, you ready? Yep, we're ready. Three, two, one. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We're close. We're close. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna get a run start. Here we go, here we go. Three, two, one. Get stuck. Don't it's get going. Stuck. Come on. Nothing. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. And he runs into the back of it. Come on. We're close, we're close. Okay, one more time, one more time. You can back up and try and pull it. I'll move my truck. Pull towards my side and it should come right out. Okay, okay, I'll try that. Basically aim right where my truck was. Here we go, here we go, here we go. There we go. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Come on. Come I mean, on. his front wheels are locked up. Gosh, we should be well, close. No, pulling. they're just buried up. I'm getting yep. there. I'm getting there. Yeah, but you're losing it. There we go. There we go. Well, how on earth are we going to get this thing out? Because of the fact that the truck doesn't even start. Yeah. I'm not sure about that, Buck. Well, what we can do, we can take all the groceries and put it in Buck's truck, and we put Happy in Buck's truck. Yeah, yeah that'll work good. Can you help me out of here? It's kind of cold. We'll get Happy out, well, get his groceries out, the door? and then put it in Buck's truck. Oh, after I ran into him. Should be good. Okay, we'll head back to the mine, boys. Oh, am I supposed to head back to the mine, or am I supposed to head to the ER? Take it to the mine and turn the heater on full blast. It'll be okay. So we got Happy out of there. Got to pull out there with the dirt backs. His truck won't start, so we'll have to come back later, but we need to start getting this mine yard cleared, seeing what we can do, seeing if there's any chance of getting this mine going again. Oh, it's on, Buck. Three, two, one, it's go. on, Buck. How is Buck driving so fast? 
Come on, Grant. Drift it. Hold on. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, Buck. Buck. Oh, my gosh. Okay, Happy and Buck. There they are. We got to get Happy some heat quick. Oh, gosh. He's going sideways. He's going sideways. There we go, baby. Okay, let's get Happy inside. Come on, buddy. Let's get you nice and warm. Okay, we need something to push snow with to clear this lot. I got the phone number inside for Thunderhead snow removal. Somewhere on my notepad. There it is. Okay, I'm going to give him a call quick. Hey, is this Tony over at Thunderhead Snow Removal? It is. This is Tony. Can yeah. me I help you? Do you have any snowblowers, plows, or are you guys all sold out? Or what do you guys got in stock for specifically wheel loaders? We really only have big blowers, nothing in all two stages. Probably could be used for a mid-sized loader, and then I have a few boss blades. Okay, what are your prices on the boss blades and the blowers? Because I'd like to get two of each. Hang on a minute, I have to warm up computer. Boss blade, I have priced it to 5,000 a piece, and the snowblower is 12,500. 12,500, you have both in stock? Yeah, you got two of each of it on the lot. One of them is used on the blade side, but it shouldn't matter. What if we package them up and I buy them all together, five grand off? Sound like a deal? I could probably drop the snowblowers down to 10 a piece. The blade, you'd have to buy full price though, 20 grand, and it's yours. Sounds like a deal. How do you want to pay? You want us to ship these things? It's going to be a bit. We're still trying to clear out the land around here. No, you're about 20 miles away from us. We'll try and make it in there with the pickup truck. Can you load us on a gooseneck? Yes, we could try that, but good luck getting here. You can get here, and I'll give you even a little more of a discount, all right? Okay, That's sounds so good. Much, but I bet you you don't get here within five days. You have a good day, sir, and we'll see you as you get here. Okay, thanks, Tony. Okay, boys, I'll be back. I know who to call if I get stuck. Who? His name starts with a B and ends with an H. We got the gooseneck hooked up. We got about 20 miles to go. Hopefully, we can make it through there. I'd assume we can with the Duramax. We should be good. But grabbing two snow blades and two snow blowers for the wheel loaders. Okay, we got everything picked up from Tony. I got both boss plows and two snow blowers. And this stuff barely fit on the trailer. It's hanging off a good amount. It's a heavy load, but we're somehow making it through the snow with the Duramax. So we're going to keep on rolling. Okay, hopefully, we can get up the mountain those guys should have the wheel loaders ready to roll up in the shop right up there this actually looks ridiculously steep with the snow for some reason come on come on oh we might not make it we may not make this we're down to 13 mile an hour come on nine eight there we go we're making it oh yeah baby we made it there's buck with a skid steer he must have got a snow bucket actually oh perfect okay we got to get these unloaded these are gonna work pretty good and hopefully we can clear the parking lot get this mine rolling buck how's the wheel loaders coming along you get them started we dug out the p10 that's where i got this i found the bucket at the wash plant we got a little bit of stuff cleared out down by the gold mine here's my question to you how are we supposed to unload those blades <laughs> pallet forks if we got forks we could probably pry them off you just went and bought brand new blades and we already have to jerry rig them off the trailer exactly i i ain't got time for this okay it looks like nate got the old wheel loader going he's got the volvo going and then he's got the two cats going perfect this should be good to clear some snow i'll just let these guys do their thing oh my why would you let them load it like this it, it worked they had forks you guys will get it off oh my for crying out loud i was looking at the blades not the blowers who loaded this thing well, Tony was like, hey, you want to make it as tough as possible on him? And I was like, yeah. Hey, we got that. Let me see if I can weasel my way into there. Bet you 10 bucks he sounded like this when he got off the phone. <laughs> that guy is so stupid. Look, he look, look at how we loaded this thing. I want to see how this fancy gets that stuff back up. Okay, so plan is we're going to put the big cat wheel loaders on the pushers just because they got a lot more horse behind them, a lot more power. And we'll put the small wheel loaders on the snow blowers. Your boy should be able to handle the rest of that. I'm going to park up the case. Okay, there we go. So how it's going to work is me and Happy are going to gonna push snow up by Buck's house and then they're gonna snow blow it the rest of the way and organize it from there. So this should work pretty good. We are moving a lot of snow at once. But basically, put a big no, snow no, pile no, no, in front no, of Buck's no, house. No, 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 not on my driveway. And that's what on you the said, man. Side, on this side, where I'm heading right now. Okay, okay, that's where we'll push the snow next time, over there. Okay, so we got to push the snow over by Buck. Might have worked better if we all had snow blowers. I'm not sure. I'm going to try and clear my way up to the gold shed. I'll push all the snow up here then. I'll just pile it over here. That should work good. Come on. This works good. I can move a lot of snow with this thing. And it sounds awesome from first person view. There we go. Usually it creates kind of a big berm of snow. No, so then I'll just make a second pass to clean that up and works pretty good. And then Nate kind of cleans up the pile. And we're working good. This is awesome. Sorry, Nate. And then when I'm going back, I'll just push up kind of towards my grass pile over here. And we'll just make a pile right here in front of my driveway. There we go. Dude, this wheel loader hey. and snow pusher work great together. Watch where you're blowing that thing. 
Look at that. Holy Toledo. This is really fun, guys. Heck, we might as well start a snow removal business while the mine shut down this winter. And there goes Buck. He's pushing across there. Hang on, I got an angle to shoot right. Is that supposed to be right where it's at? Right there? Oh, yeah. Right there? Yep. Okay, good, good to know. I don't know if the snowblower works better, if the uh, blade works better. Buck knows how to use that thing, too. Nate's doing a nice job, too. Okay, I stole Buck's snowblower, so we'll run this a little bit just to kind of clear some tight spots around the shed here. There we go, and basically we'll just shoot it over off the side of the mountain. It's super tough to get, like, too close to the shed, but this seems to be working decent. That's probably as close as we're going to be able to get to the shed there. Okay, guys, we're just getting finished up. There's a couple trucks we still got to dig out a little bit. Otherwise, everything else is pretty clear. We got the yard sorted, so that way we can actually start running this mine if things thaw out, actually. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. Check out Buck's YouTube channel, Happy's, and Nate's down below in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.